Well, Hellions, good morning. It is 1031, a.k.a. Halloween time. For those Halloweeners out there, you get it. Um, starting the day off with a job. I've got two jobs today, so I'm just going to get to them. It's going to be a fairly warm day. Yesterday, we didn't film anything after we left uh, Thornwood Castle. Kind of crazy, kind of crazy. Uh, had a nice campfire last night, some relaxing time, and it was absolutely great. So let's get through the intro, see what today brings, and uh, we'll probably end up uh, catching up on uh, comments for the last couple days today. Okay, second appointment of the day is done. Oh, get the AC going. It's very warm, I'm very hot. And that's not me saying, dude, I'm hot. No, 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 no. I am, I'm, I'm temperature hot. <sighs> It is like boiling out here like <laughs> It's nice. It's nice if you don't have to work in it. 90 degrees finally. It's nice. Wait, wait, what? 90, 90 degrees, degrees, not 32 okay. degrees? I'm trying. Hey, look, your craftsmanship is failing. I I know. My oh, door is sticking. There's a trick. <laughs> okay, girls. Cool. Dust city. Dust Back up. No, 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 we're not getting out. <laughs> That's what I usually do as soon as I open the doors. I put my foot there and they're like, rah, rah, rah. I'd be okay with it, but we've got Buffy the Destroyer right there. Yes, yes, we do. Well, it was you. I was like, what the <laughs> Don't worry, I was the same thing. It's like, oh. I forgot about that. When I hit my screen twice, it makes a noise, and the witch gets me every single time. Ooh, tomorrow's double star day at Starbucks. <laughs> yes, Troy has parked like an a-hole trying to use, utilize shade. Huh, Crow? What's up, Crow? All right, so we're here at Target. Oh, is he? Chick, 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 chick. <laughs> chick, chick, chick. chick. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to Target because we, we're trying to find Coke Life. This is the life of the Coke. This is a very good Coke and it's like reduced calorie and it's got stevia in it instead of, oh, stevia and cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. They did not have any Coke Life. And the search continues. The search continues, but the and most he, important he thing, no hold on, it. hold on. The most important thing, what? we made it out of Target and didn't buy anything. It's hot in here. I don't see how you can have a How do you have a blanket on? Are you feeling okay? Do you have the vid? Oh, no. Okay. I'm not going to joke about that. Yeah, don't joke That's about that. Nah, too soon. Hashtag way too soon. Attention, attention. May I have your attention, please? Sean Ragel. Sean Ragel. Could you please send me your address or a way of contacting you through snail mail to HalloweenHellmouth at Yahoo.com? I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Speaking about sending things through snail mail, today we, 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 we received a card from Ben Massey, and we received a package from Carrie Ann Olson, and these two items will be put into our growing pot... Hi, Buffy. Oh, we haven't even filmed. Oh, yeah, I filmed you just a little bit today. I haven't filmed Coda. Where's Coda? He's sleeping. Yeah, okay. Coda's sleeping. <laughs> it's like she's making her presence known, and then she's like, oh, I'm not supposed to be up here like yeah. this. So we will be opening everything that you guys send us for wedding stuff or whatever on on or around the 31st of this month. Okay, and if you're curious about the address, it is down below in the sub bar. Down below in the doobly-doo. Down doobly there. Doobly-doo. That's what Steve always used to down say. Down there? No, down here, not over here. Address is down there? No, not over here. Actually, the address is right there. Look at that. It's right there. Focus, focus. Right there, focus. right there. So we will add these to the pile and I will be opening these in the order to which they were received. Don't know why, but I'm going to. Everybody's going to get a number on it. So. Everybody's getting a number. Yeah, so Ben, you were number two. 
only because I went to the P.O. box and this was in there, so I took it out and that was number two, but there was a card in there saying, you have an oversized item, so I had to go and get this, and therefore, this was the third one received, this is number three. This way, when we open stuff, if you guys want to skip to the point to where you're at, then maybe you can just follow the numbers. So if I mix up your sticky notes? Then you mix up all of them. No, I think it's only you that gets mixed up. Probably. I realize that we have a short vlog for the day, but I would really like to keep it that way. We have comments for the last three vlogs that we need to get through. Mm -hmm. For three vlogs ago, Jeff's Yard Haunt, you were first, and this was on the vlog for um, uh, going to jail, day 3547. Uh, Mr. Bro, you were not first. Pirates of the North Court, I get those, you're going to jail if you don't call us, several times a month. The car warranty ones are even more frequent. Yeah, I get those all the time too. And if we can just do us, do me a favor and just waste their time, have fun with it. Don't tell them any personal information. Just waste their time if you can. They're starting to get wise and they just like hang up now. The one and only Lindsay Bird, you said Parks and Rec and also The Office are the best. And Angie, your E.T. was awesome. <laughs> Forgot about that. Thanks. <laughs> I loved The Office. You haven't seen that either, have you? I have not. But you haven't worked in an office, so it might not be as funny. No, I have not. Well, not really. Real Van Jason, haunted maze in the backyard. At least that's what I think of when I see the lights in the garden at night. <laughs> yeah, I think that too. Pretty soon there'll be corn nice and tall in there too, so it'll yeah. feel like a maze. <laughs> it'll be truly spooky. Chandra Huard, so by feeding your chicken garlic water, does it flavor the meat from the inside out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And actually, we were reading something, and we're kind yeah, of tossed I, up about I garlic know, water now because it's one of the things that you shouldn't give them, as some people say. But other, I don't if know. you look at the list of foods that chickens should not eat, garlic, garlic and onions, and onion and is, chives, they're all on that list, saying only give in moderation because they can cause some some kind of disease, disease or something. So there's that, and then also the whole yogurt thing. Yeah, it's got probiotics in it, but. Um, Dairy is on the chicken no-no list, so it's like... What do you do? <laughs> so I bought proper chicken bio probiotics that um, are made for chickens, and we've changed out everything now. So. Well, over two days' time, the garlic didn't, the garlic water didn't seem to nothing. do anything I, anyway, so... Yeah. Better safe than sorry. And yeah, Anne is still in the other room, and she still has a big old crop. Uh, Rach Rachel Beckingham, uh, I have never heard of Sun Tea either here in Ontario. Great vlog today. I hear chickens can lay eggs as young as 12 weeks old. Any signs of eggs yet? Not yet. No. Be a little bit yet. Another two months maybe? Two months? Oh, I want eggs now. Oh, like, yeah, two months I think. I'm going to go out there and squeeze them out of them. Wow. <laughs> you, you try that and see what happens. <laughs> You'll squeeze something out. Whoa. <laughs> Won't be an egg. <laughs> Brandon Miller, okay, Troy, I know you are doing something in the yard for Halloween this year. Have you thought of doing a little walkthrough under the carport like when you started? A little throwback. Um, I have thought about it, but we probably won't do that um, simply because there there's one person in particular that I know that likes to uh, pretend that they're my surrounding neighbors and mm. uh, give little uh, phone calls and constant emails to the city. So we probably won't be doing that. But what we might do is we might do a yard display. Nothing extravagant this year because we have other things on our plate. Okay. But, um, man, we do have, I will, I will say this, we have some awesome ideas for recreating things in the front yard for a Halloween scene. And they are, they would blow anybody away. And we would need to start on them in October. <laughs> For next October. For next October. <laughs> Joshua Burton, Angie, since you are not a fan of milk in tea, have you ever heard about putting carnation milk, condensed milk, in it? Oh. That'd be really bad. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> well, think about it again. No, I'm done thinking about that. Okay. Oh, I can see that it might be a staple in Newfoundland. I've been to Newfoundland. I've spent some time there with the family and... Uh, they, they have some very different food from the West Coast. <laughs> Travis Williams, Troy, it's weird 
how you went from a haunter to a chickens guy. Nice to see some special changes in your life. Oh, there's a lot of special changes. I've got the best woman in the world. I've got the best son in the world. And I've got the best parents in the world. And they're all in my life. And that's awesome. So yeah, happy about that. And we will get back to Halloween. We will. For the Rose Red vlog part one, Tony Fredrickson, you were first. Mr. Broat, you were one, two, three, fourth. But you do say Thornwood Castle just went on to my bucket list. Mm -hmm. See a trip to America coming soon. <laughs> Aloha, Laura. What a fantastic gift. Wow, Angie, I cannot believe that you haven't seen this movie. It's so awesome. It's not anything like the book. The book was more about the original builder, but the movie is just amazing. I'm so excited for you. I'm screaming. This is breathtaking. Love the sound of the creaking wood. Can't wait to see the rest. Yeah, that creaking wood was something else. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I bumped up the audio in part two, so the stuff that you guys saw yesterday. I bumped up the audio... It made it sound like we were a herd of freaking elephants coming down the stairs. Well, so uh, it was loud, but it, it wasn't felt, that loud. It felt like a herd of elephants. I mean, it was late, too. Like It was only about midnight. Yeah, but that's late for making a noise like that. Yeah, so the other people staying in the castle, anytime one of those says, like, oh my gosh, it's haunted, I heard footsteps. Yeah, because there's crazy people like us exploring stuff and at I'm night. I'm sure that you can hear footsteps from people, like, three wings over. Like, the whole house is constantly... Well, maybe, but there's also like a lot of concrete there too. So I'm sure yeah. the sound carries on the hallway. If, is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I could see that. Oh, Buffy, you stink. Oh. She's left the building. Of course, she farts and leaves. That's what she does. That's the worst. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Don Chance, it might be the type of treats that makes her fart. Wow. I, I just stumbled across this comment. How did you know Buffy farted just now? Caroline, Canadian trucker gal, you say, wow, what a fantastic gift from Todd for the newlyweds. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, what an experience. Such a good guy. Uh, Thornwood Castle looks amazing. My kind of place to visit. Just B-E-A beautiful. It really was. Oh, and speaking of, uh, Keith Hammer, you say, I've never seen Rose Red, so I've ordered it from Amazon UK. That's awesome. Uh, we have it now, thanks to Triv, and I've seen it before, but you haven't. We still haven't watched it yet. No. So, I mean, things have just been too busy, but it is on our yeah. to-watch list. Recent. It would have been nice to have watched it and then gone there to see if we picked up any things, because I know some things were filmed, some were not, but at least be able to try and figure out, yeah. like, oh, they changed this, oh, and yeah. Carrie Ann Olsen, you said, did the chickens figure out the watering system? Yeah, I think they have. Um, yeah, I think so. So when you have the, the pecking cups, the little thing in there that they need to peck, the cup doesn't stay full. It empties as they drink it, and then they get down to the bottom, and they peck it, and they, like, drink a little bit of water and peck it and drink a little bit of water. It's just what they do. It's actually nice that way because it doesn't waste. Yeah, that's true. But it's nerve-wracking at first while you're waiting for them to figure it out and pick it up properly because you're like, are you drinking or not? Because it's, like, 30 degrees out here, or... 90 degrees out here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we watched a video on it. And the one way to tell, in case you guys are curious, one way to tell, the first day you fill them all up for them so they know where to get the water. Do that for the second day. And then the third day, after they've slept and everything, you go out there and you fill one of the cups up. And if, like, all of them run over there, like, they're really thirsty, then you they obviously... <laughs> and then you have a problem and they still need to learn. But if they're they're like, oh, and not, not a big deal, then that means that they've been over there pecking at them. We just haven't caught them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Bren, you're so funny. If you're a new viewer, don't eat while watching. LOL. A lot of dog farts and chicken poops <laughs> along with chicken yeast infection. <laughs> so eat a few hours before or after. LOL. You are welcome. Oh, Perigetta. The mirror hallway was pretty neat. And this was, was hopefully neat. you caught the, the next vlog too because it had the, the hallway at night. Except that the lights were all on. And Nobody was home. It would have been nice if the lights were off. Then we wouldn't have been able to film anything. Ooh, if we had a flashlight, that would have been awesome. Oh, we should have done that. We need yeah, we need to go back. Mm -hmm. Joe Poppenhagen, nothing better than a big four-post bed on your honeymoon. <laughs> Interestingly enough, it's an old place. They have hardwood floors. Oh, the yeah. bed... There's, has moved there's like constantly marks on the floor back and forth <laughs> and now they've got a couch pushed up against the bed so we kind of figured that there was a reason there, a reason for that couch <laughs> being pushed up against the bed yeah oh, that's funny 
And by posting at the regular time, I thought that I would have thrown off Mr. Broat, but no, you were first. But you're not going to be first on this vlog. Ha 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 ha. Lady Riv, I love this tour. I wish we could help you afford to do these more. I, I wish that we were able to afford to do them on our own. Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. Gnaw Dog. At 6.07, that cherub statue's face is like, God is not here. <laughs> There yeah, were there's a couple so of them. many funny looking cherubs up there. They're like sitting in the weirdest places. Every time you turn around, there's one sitting somewhere and they all have the the weirdest faces. Some of them were happy and some of them were not so happy. Not so happy. <laughs> I just wonder what the artist's inspiration was for some of them. Granted, it was a different time period, so I don't know. I would love to be able to get inside the dude's head. Well, not now, because it'd be dirt, but you know what I mean. Uh, I get that a lot, at least three times a day. Yeah. Carrie and Olson, you ask, did you see pineapples in there anywhere that may be painted, made of metal, ceramic, or other? Uh, I didn't really notice. I didn't I didn't notice, but I wasn't looking for pineapples. Hello, Halara. You guys were cracking us up, sneaking around, and giggling. It was fun. <laughs> And there's only one other couple there. I don't know what room they had. Uh, but you say uh, maybe the stair door was closed at night because they are loud as heck and they try to discourage using them at night. It's quite possible. It is quite possible. <laughs> but there's also rooms upstairs too. And that's the only way to get to the room. Yeah. So people have to use them. Um, and this place is truly breathtaking. We are so glad that you got to experience this. It is truly magical. Yeah, it really was. It was so cool. Halloween fur. When you said that you didn't think anything paranormal is going to happen that made me wonder troy have you or angie ever been on a paranormal investigation i have not no i haven't and what we were talking about earlier is that i did not feel any yeah i there's been places to where i've been freaked out yeah, before me too and for no reason no no background nobody said to me like oh this place is haunted or there's something weird that happens here just sometimes you get that Creepy, like at Western weird. State, going where it's cold yeah, right there. That kind of there's areas where you just get a really weird feeling, and mm -hmm. neither one of us had that whatsoever. No, like, no nowhere on the property, not not, not in the garden, bit. not yeah, nowhere. So, I don't know. My my spider senses were not tingling. Nope, they they weren't. Final comment of the night, De Grinch. Thank you both for taking us along on your mini moon. Thank you for the great videos of the castle. What a magnificent place that is inside and outside. So much rich history. Very, very beautiful. Having both of you together is so wonderful. It's a good place in this old, mean, grumpy Grinch's wee heart. Seeing you together and your love and bringing us along, it does me good, especially in this world. Thank you, Todd. Thank you for this wonderful gift you gave to them. Thank you. Aw. Oh, dude. Ah, uh, and we would agree. Um, we've got some of the best viewers ever. I love you guys. Mm. So, okay, that's it. Getting Happy holiday. feels now. I know. We love you guys. <laughs> Get out of here. We gotta go to bed. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good night. Happy haunting. I'm not sure if I said that or not.